about the time I saw Meryl Streep at Shakespeare in the Park doing Mother Courage. So I just moved to New York and I went to a bar with some friends and around 2.30 a.m. we decided that we should go stand in line and get some tickets for the following day's performance of Meryl Streep. We decided to go up to the Upper East Side to a friend's house, get some provisions, meaning alcohol. And I'm really gonna drink a lot tonight. To go get the tickets. Oh, we're up to see the so we're crossing over the park, we get lost, and all of a sudden we stumble upon the stage. All the world's a stage. And so finally we heard like a noise. We thought it was security, and so we ran. We ran, ran out and uh, didn't get caught. And these people, the people that are waiting for the tickets, they, I mean, they, they had tents, they had lawn chairs, they had everything, like they were ready. And we had ourselves, and we just had that raincoat and a flask. I think we started getting a hangover or something. And so two of us were like, well, why don't we go and we look, go and find something. So we wanted some books. So we leave him there and we go up to, uh, through Harlem. I am Harlem and Harlem is me. And so we're walking up the streets and then we find some dude it's like, hey man, so do you know where we can get some books? And he's like, oh yeah, 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 I, I can get you some. I just gotta go up this building and I'll, I'll get you some. Awesome. And so he's like, but just give me the money, I'm gonna buy it um, from this guy and I'll bring it back. And we're like, oh man, like, give you the money. Like, and it's like, yeah, 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 come on, I'm just going over there. I was like, all right, cool. So we, we gave him the money. You don't have a better bad idea than this? This is the best bad idea we have, sir. He leaves, so we already realize he's never coming back. I am shocked, shocked. And so we started to, my friend, he's like, let's go find him. Okay, let's go find him. So my friend is like hiding in the bushes. Let me see if I find him. He's fucking hiding in the bushes. I can't, no, I can't do this. So I like, so I'm like, I'm gonna go back. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go find him and then, and then I'll meet you guys back in the line. Okay, and I get back in the line. My other friend is, pissed off, like I find him like on the floor covered with a pink polka dot uh, um, uh, raincoat. Let go, Heidi. Let go, Heidi, too. Cause he was covering his head cause these acorns, he was under a tree. These acorns were literally falling on his head. This is terrible. And so we're waiting for our other friend to come back. He comes back and he's like, okay, hey guys, so. <laughs> <laughs> Two things happened to me. So apparently he tells us that he's hiding in the bushes Looking for this dude and then somebody else shows up. It's about to go down I said, what the fuck are you doing here? And so like he's like, oh, what? And he tells him what happened. He got robbed and he's looking for him I was at a wine tasting with my cousin Ernesto. This is so fucking stupid. You can't you, Osa, you can't you can't hide in the bushes right here. You're so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Give me the money, I'm gonna get you some weed. My friend is like, I can't give you money. I was like, I can't do it again. Just trust me. Okay, look, I'm gonna give you my backpack and I'm gonna put my wallet in the backpack and uh, just don't fucking look at it. Don't open it, don't look at it. I'll be right back. And so he leaves. He's been waiting there for like 15 minutes just standing. He's like, fuck it, this guy's not gonna come back. So he opens, he opens the bag. He grabs the wallet. He opens the wallet, he's looking at it. And looks up, and the dude is like, he's like, what the fuck are you telling you? Like, why are you looking at my shit? And that's like, I'm sorry. I can't die. I can't die. I'm in the wood. 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 Whatever. He gives them, he's like, just get the fuck out of here. Gives them the books. Right? He's like, I'm going to go see what's up. And goes to the bathroom to inspect it and then comes back and by then like security was walking up and down they didn't let him back into the line and also what our friend had gotten the book he gotten were crap complete crap i think they were mixed with like check off and john grisham like it was all a mess they didn't let him in we get the tickets we go back to brooklyn we try to sleep but it's a we can't sleep no no sleep, sleep. to brooklyn
<laughs> it's terrible. And then finally we 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 get back on the subway and we get to Central Park. But then we got to see Meryl Streep being magical. Amazing. The best. Do a lot of courage. So yeah, that's my story. I just wanted to change real quick and do my hair and get a beer and uh, switch homes. So now I'm back. I don't think theater will ever go away. I think people need it. I think artists need it. I think the, the connection, the, 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 the live connection between the artist, the audience, you can't even explain it. You just feel it. And it's something that you don't have through a TV or, or a phone. It, it's, it's something else. It's that palpable. It's that li live connection. And I don't think that's ever gonna go away. It'll come back and it'll be fucking amazing. We're gonna be aching for it and maybe it's gonna come back stronger and people are gonna want to go to the theater even more than right now, um, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think it's ever, 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 ever gonna go away. Salud, teatro.